Oh, can we ever kick the wind? This is about where we're at right now. Snow banks practically level with the house, it seems. It's crazy. We've had the snow, but we've also had the wind. It certainly will fill up the dugouts, freshen up the springs, get those streams running. Dilution is the solution. But, I mean, only good to build forts in right now. One last trip to town for a few hydraulic fittings. I've been fussing away with trying to get everything in here organized just to neat and tidy things up a bit. And it actually has worked out pretty well. Um, I had my in and out backwards because, well, this thing was, this motor's turned around, so I thought this, so it, this one here is the outflow, which goes into the top hole of the block. And then from the return, it comes through and up through my filter, which is on the outflow. So there's no pressure on that filter because it just drains back down and into the reservoir. So that works really well. All nice and neat and tidy. These wires here I've just roughly uh, wired in just to give it a test because I am ready for a test fire. I am ready. Look at that, isn't that a beautiful thing? Once I confirm that everything works, I will proceed to put these wires where they're supposed to. So I have the don't have the battery in yet, so it's running off the truck, so I hitched it onto the post, which runs through the fuse and up to the circuit and to the first solenoid, which activates power to the secondary solenoid, which then triggers the motor on and off, and also it uh, relays the on-off throughout this mess of wires and circuit board and crap. It signals each and every one of these um, solenoid blocks to open close on demand. Simple enough. Let's give her a shot. Oh, for Christ's sake. Alright, what's going on here? Just gotta make sure my wires are right here. Half hour later. Oh, all this work. Drum roll, please. What's going on? One hour later, after my attempt of burning the shop down, <sighs> I think I found my issue though. I'll show you what happened. So when I flip the power on this fuse, there's a fuse here before it goes to the solenoid, this fuse burnt out. And this might be my issue all along. Um, so I caught that, put a new one on, 
we have one up in the uh, mezzanine. So there's another fuse on here. And let's see if it works. <sighs> Drum roll, please. Joy to the world. Ooh. We have life. Oh boy. She is alive. Okay, let me just double check things to make sure. I'm gonna lift things up and just double check my fittings to make sure everything's not leaking. Oh boy, oh boy. That's my level there. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Is what it is. Low, so I'm gonna put some more in there. But there should be enough in here to do what I wanna do. That filter probably took a little bit. Oh, come on. Okay, so just double checking everything else to make sure I can lift it up. Stick it in the way. That might get in the way. Let's keep an eye on that. Okay. smokes it works Wow ideal oh it sounds good that's the relief that you heard there uh, let's hear it again Ooh, sure screams um, I'm going to level this out. Ooh, that's going to be annoying. That valve might soften up just a little bit. Okay. Release. So there I go, that clicking, click, 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 that's because the batteries in my radio here is almost dead. So I have to replace them. Oh, it sounds real good. The uh, that squeaking every time it stops is a relief valve. Start this truck up to get a little more volts on that motor. See if it makes a difference.
That's only showing 11.9 volts. The truck off. So I've drawn down the batteries. So these batteries in this truck need to be replaced. That might have been some of my issue also. 11.8, that's not enough. So I need to get another battery for this truck, for this unit. Actually, I'm gonna put the battery back into this unit right now. Okay, I see a flaw already. This is the positive. This comes from the truck battery. <sighs> that's been bust out, so I gotta put another end on that. Okay, so let's check the voltage now with that on. Because I know 11.9 is not enough. So, you know, a lot of problems, not only to the ground, but to do with low voltage from the batteries. truck must be drawn down quite a bit. So I'm going to have to uh, provide some charge on them. So either we, I might have to change the batteries in this truck. But I think they're just drawn right down because I've been pissing around. I'll do that another day. Fold this puppy back up. So that is good news. Oh, she works. Like it's not just a beautiful thing. Look at that. Brand new motor stock. So now if anything happens to this motor, I can go and replace it. I might actually have another one. I'll, I'll buy another one and put it on the shelf. You know, they're not cheap. But if anything happens, then I can just switch it out within an hour by simply unplugging these two hydraulic ports out and then back in. Everything else seems to be where it should be. I'm just going to clean up some wires here. That should also help with a little bit of cooling. All right. We are in business. Took me long enough. I would not have been able to do that mid-season. This is definitely a winter project. Okay, so I'm gonna fold her back in. What is it, 10 o'clock now? not snowing anymore. What a day, what a day. 